touch on really, but as a government worker on the law enforcement side of it, um, how often did you come across illegal immigration problems? Good and point. what do you think about the way the government that you work for handles the issue and what is the solution? Good point. I, I apologize for forgetting about that. And also terrorism I want to touch on if you don't mind. Uh, my office, uh, under my leadership, was responsible for uh, having, uh, spearheading a nationwide roundup of illegal aliens. Uh, subcontractors working for Walmart were hiring illegal aliens uh, by the hundreds, if not by the thousands. And once we've learned that, uh, we went in and arrested these subcontractors, fined them, put them out of business. I'm not sure if one or two went to jail, and they might have, I'm, I'm just not certain about that. And we sent the uh, illegal aliens back. And I, I have to temper that somewhat. Uh, I've been on the line in Texas, and I've seen, I've been up in a helicopter watching the illegals come across. And uh, if I were Hispanic, I'd be trying to get into this country too. But there's a, there's a legal way to do it. And unless and until that legal way is followed, then any illegal aliens in this country have to be sent back to no matter where it's at. Again, I get back to who's going to pay for it. Uh, it would be wonderful if, if we could open the doors and let people come in. But uh, first of all, they have to be law-abiding as citizens. Uh, it can't be a dumping ground for criminals from other countries. And they have to be productive. And then once they become a productive citizen, and still in this country, as far as I'm concerned, uh, English is our language. So uh, I've served on several committees that advise the Attorney General on legislation, on issues such as uh, illegal drugs, uh, illegal weapons, white collar crime, which are uh, which under my leadership again, we uh, took one of the first cases uh, uh, to investigation and ended up uh, arresting and uh, putting into a federal prison uh, white collar criminals who were cooking the books. Uh, so these are tasks that I think that I have to convey to the public uh, to see what uh, I did as a prosecutor that will tie into what I will do as uh, their congressman if, the, if they do elect me. Well, what's the solution? What, how do we prevent uh, putting the military along the borders. Someone asked me, well, how about this new double fencing system? Uh, I had, I don't know anything about this new double fencing system, but we have, uh, we have the reserves, we have military people. I think it was an elected official says, well, they're not trained. Now, if you're trained to go overseas and fight and uh, for our freedoms here, uh, I think that the military people, I have a great deal of faith in them. Uh, they can patrol the borders, and we should be taking advantage of, uh, of that. If there's some type of uh, structural mechanism that is, that is effective and efficient, uh, we should look into that. But right now, we can start putting military people on the line uh, to help immigration. Is the government doing enough right now to get the people that are already here out of here? I don't think the government has the resources to do with, to take care of the illegals that are here now uh, and to get them out of here. What we can continue to do and we should do is go after employers who uh, illegally hire these people. Then I think the, if we step up that, then I think the message will again continue to get out there and who's going to take that risk. There was an ordinance down in Hazleton that the court said no go. Yeah, I know. They tried. Listen, I, I don't have the silver bullet here, ladies and gentlemen. I would be one of 535. And uh, again, a way to get that message across is to communicate with the people in the 10th Congressional District. As I told you, I've been in Washington. I'll be there when I have to vote. I'll be there to bring home what we're entitled to. I'll be there to help draft legislation and what's best for the country and the district. But other than that, I'm back in the district. And I'm just not meaning sitting in my office for people to come around and see me. I work for the voter if I'm fortunate enough to be elected. And certainly they'd be welcome to come to the office. 
but I'm going to learn more about what's going on. If I'm in a restaurant with them, if I tour their business, if I go in their house and sit down and have a coffee with them as to tell me what your problems are and tell me how we can help out. If we'd have taken that stimulus money and simply apply, applied said to the banks instead of bailing them out the way we did, if we'd have said apply that to the deficient loans and give, these, and give the public uh, uh, a loan based on the value, the present day value of the house and keep the interest rates down, just maybe we wouldn't be in, in the shape we are as far as the housing is concerned. You try to go to a bank, I'm trying to refinance. And I go to the bank and I say to them, I want to refinance on the value of my house at a lower interest rate. They laugh at me. They said to me, we're, we're not even going to look at you until your mortgage payments are six months behind. I've never been behind in a mortgage payment. I said, well, you, you got our tax money. Don't you think you should be helping us out? You're paying your mortgage payment. Why? Should, I had, a, I had a, a mortgage man in Florida say to me, the best thing that you can do is walk away from your house if you have a mortgage on it uh, because there are so many foreclosures they are not going to come after you, and if they do, you have nothing, and then you can buy the same house for half the price. Is, is, you know, is that what is good for this country? I don't think so. Uh, you mentioned terrorism. Address that sure. And then I think uh, most of us have uh, a couple other things we need to get to, but Andrew would have an opportunity also okay. to ask a few more questions. As I told you, I was a, a prosecutor for 18 years. We dealt with terrorists. We put terrorists away, or people who are aiding and abetting terrorists. These people want to kill us. You don't see uh, Bed Laden or any of his chiefs or any of his family members strapping bombs on themselves. They take advantage of, of, of the weak-minded, the poor, the people that are desperate to promote their particular cause. The bottom line still is, they're enemy combatants. They should be tried by a military court or a military tribunal out of this country at Guantanamo Bay, and if found guilty, executed. Because if not, they will be right back into a, a terrorist organization again, and we can't afford to be housing any more uh, criminals in prison that we're already doing.